and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. And we're at our new digs, Brad. Yeah. And uh, I love what you've done with the place. Nothing. Well, Bob, what can I say? You know, it didn't take much. <laughs> we, we will do some decorating as time goes on here. So, But today the video title is Arthritis Relief Exercise Program for the Back and Legs. We're going to show you how to do it in a seated position. We're also going to be doing, in the near future, one for the neck and arms. Excellent, so, so Bob. Cover the whole body. We just thought this was going to be too long if we did them all together. Right. We don't want to drag things on because, you know, people do say that we babble a yeah. little bit. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. This week, we're giving away a thick line. Ah, and you we're can't. going to show that. At the end of the video, Brad. So, so I, I'll leave it here. We no, won't. you can show oh, it now, I, yeah. but I'll sh we'll show you how it works at the end of the video. Absolutely. So, so wonderful. you got to stick around. Go to Facebook for, uh, for our, if you want to go find the contest at our Facebook page. Pinned to the top. Yeah, yeah pinned right to the up top. Over right over here somewhere. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. Because that's all some people can take. All right, so the key to arthritis relief is really one, joint protection. Yep. You don't want to really pound the joint at all. Right. So like uh, with hips, you probably want to be careful with running and knees and, and all and stuff like that, right. anything that involves a lot of pounding. But movement, movement. is necessary. Yes. yes, and so that's the other key is we want to get movement. So we're going to show you a movement program in your chair without putting a lot of stress on the, the joints. There you go. And I do want to say before we get going with this, there may be some of these movements that create pain, sharp pain. If you if that happens, don't push it. Just set those off to the side. Right. Do the ones that, you know, just give you that stretch, maybe a little stretch pain, and then come back to the other ones that if there was one or two. Revisit it later. Then. There you go. So, all right, let's start off this for the back. So we're just going to do gentle rotations. So we're going to just turn. I want you to keep really good posture when you're doing these. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to show them, do the profile, Bob. Yep, that sounds good. My right side is my good side. <laughs> I wish I could <laughs> agree with you, Brad. <laughs> well, you're not the only one that says yeah, that. All right. Next one is just a simple hallelujah stretch. Uh, now, if you don't have a good solid back to the chair, you can just put your arms back here and lean back like this. But this is a good for the mid back, and even get a little bit of low back too. So, um, and Brad, you want you show it yeah. over the chair. If you so, feel comfortable doing this and it doesn't hurt, then it's a great stretch oh, over the chair. Man, I'm telling you, Bob, <laughs> I love this one. It, re it reminds me of the Shrek movie that they sing the Hallelujah song. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing some research on oh, that. You must be uh, watching with the grandkids. Okay, next one is hip flexion. So we're going to start on the hip now. So we're going up. And we're going to do each side five times. Just a good one to get, again, what we get moving is the synovial fluid, which yes. is kind of the oil of the joints. You know, you can grab and, and help yeah. a little bit if you need sure. to. Sure, yep. Give it a little stretch if you want mm -hmm. to at the end. Okay. Oh. Now, hip abduction. Now, you can do this a lot of ways, but one, you can just go ahead and basically spread out and back in again. Kind of like a clamshell, but you're... Oh, you know, not on your side, like a clamshell. Right. right. So, yeah, and keep your feet close together <coughs> so they're touching typically if you can. Think now, about breathing through all these relaxed right, breathing. All right. Next one's external rotation. Now, if you have a fair amount of range, you can take your ankle and put it on the opposite knee, and then you're just going to work on externally rotating oh. the hip. This is a really important one. Uh, it's a really good stretch to do yep. uh, and range of motion at the same time. If you have trouble, you could just start on the floor. It's a good point. I'm working with someone right now. They couldn't get he, up there. He cannot. 58 years old, and he can't get his knee up to here yet. Wow. So he's, he's got some issues we're working so on. So we'll go on to the other side too, Brad. We don't want to be um, like a one-legged duck, right? Swimming well, you start walking in circles, and, and then people start to talk, <laughs> Bob. As if they don't already. <laughs> Okay, next one. We're going to go down to the knees now. Uh, oh, I, I missed one, Brad. Uh, hip extension. Oh, yes. So this is a great one because when you sit a lot, 
So this is probably more of a stretch, Brad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But you're still, you know, it's a stretch. You're still getting that end range yeah. if you can. I just want you to stretch. This is where you're stretching the hip flexors, and then you can go the other direction too. If you don't feel comfortable on this one, you feel like you're going to tip off the chair, just leave it be. Yeah, safety first. It's, it's not that critical of a stretch. We don't want anybody we... saying they fell because they were watching a Bob and Brad video. Yeah, we'll, we'll want to avoid those types of accusations. All right, knees. Just all we're going to do is bend and straighten. Now, this is a good one. If you're having knee arthritis issues throughout the day when you're seated, you should be doing this. Right. Like every 20 minutes, every 30 minutes. Yep. And try to kick it out as straight as you can. Uh, you know, just don't do a half one. If you can get it up high, go ahead. You know, you don't have to do 20 or 30, just 5 to 10 if you're doing them often. Now, another little bit of advice is if you do seat, sit a lot, don't sit with your knees bent beyond 90. Like this. Yeah. yeah. Get, get them out like this yeah. and, and even like this or yeah, you can trade. Yeah, makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. So... All right, all we got left, Brad, is the ankles. Oh. So we're going to go ahead. This will be a good one for you because um, I, they can see it. Oh, I'm I thought it was a personal. Flexion, pl plantar flexion. Kind of a personal thing. I didn't no, know no. your head on me there. Yeah. So you can do them together or, or we can yeah, alternate. Can, there we go. This is a really nice one to do. It's the music one. You know, you can put some good uh, music that you enjoy and. Sure, Hopefully probably some, some Shrek music on. Well, I I don't know about that, but I'm all right. I'm going to the circles now, Brad. Now, oh. I like to do it like this. I cross over. Yeah, yeah that, that's a nice option. And go five one way and five the other direction. Yeah. Or yeah, you can do both at the same time. But this is just again, it gets the body warmed up yeah. and makes sure all the joints are moving throughout their full range. And it's going to help you in the long run with your arthritis. You'll be amazed. And, you know, we're almost done with it. I'm sure you feel better. I, I feel better already. And, and I already I did my exercise. Energized. Before. Yeah, it does. It gets you pumped up. So now, as a good alternative to this, if you want to get the hips and knees moving, you want to get a thick glide, you can actually do this in bed, too. You oh, can yeah. You can actually uh, lie down and, yeah. and actually, well, Brad's well, going to show you how this works. And this is one of those things, if walking is uncomfortable on your knees, uh, you can do this, get that range of motion. They slide really nice and freely, and that's what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Should we show them the Yeah, yeah, the show incline? them all the options. Yep, so you can tip it up on an incline. Now, this is one of those things that also, if you're working at a desk for long periods of time, you want to get those legs moving. Put it underneath your desk and uh, let her go. I am going to give the warning, Brad, again. It does make a little sound. It's a little swish, swish, swish sound. Swish, swish. Yeah, so it's not silent. It's not um, obnoxious, so, but uh, it's there. And uh, the I think one of the biggest selling points of this, Brad, is how lightweight it is. There's no doubt about yeah, it. It's five pounds? I think it is 5.1, right? It's very close to five. So you can, um, yeah, you can do curls with your fingers, I always like to say. Yep. So you can take it with you, put it in, you know, I think it fits inside most suitcases. Yeah, I would say. Yep. I don't know if it carry on. Yep, yeah. It would be close. But, you know, so. if, like my mother, you know, if I took her to her apartment where she's not getting out of it, it would be a wonderful thing for, for her this to This is it. This is for the elderly. This is made for them. So just don't have a stand on it. Yeah, and it says so right on there. Be careful, they say. All right. Remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for. A broken heart. But we continue to work on it. Yeah, I, I don't. I think people have given I, up. On I us. didn't work on it this weekend, though, Bob. I took yeah, the weekend I, off. Right. I had other. Yeah. For, clear your head. Carry on.